If you like Leonardo AI and you wish you had prompts that generated prompts quickly, basically turning ChatGPT into a prompt engineer for you to generate prompts, ideas for prompts, and more prompts, with the final conclusion being beautiful, stunning, realistic looking images, then you're in the right spot. And are you familiar with the term writer's block? Well, I really do think prompt block is a new thing that exists. Today, I'm going to share with you two amazing prompts that actually turn ChatGPT into a prompt generating engineer just for Leonardo AI. AI. Stick around because you're not going to want to miss these two prompts. You'll be amazed by what they can do for you. And all you have to do is just have a simple topic in your head. Now I have to tell you, Leonardo AI is amazing. All these images you're seeing on my page right now are all images I've made using the prompts I'm specifically sharing with you today. Keep these prompts around, save them, and I'll actually have a link in my description to where you can save this link and then copy and paste these prompts, use them however you want. Here are the two prompts I'm gonna share with you guys today. And I will actually put these prompts underneath this heading featured YouTube video prompts. You'll see them over here in these rows right here. So all you have to do is just copy copy and paste them and you'll create amazing looking images just like this that you're seeing on my screen right now. So we have two prompts right here. Here's the key thing to keep in mind. At first glance, they look like they're the same exact prompt, but they're not. Here's why. One prompt is going to create a prompt for you quickly and outright, while the second prompt is going to ask you three questions. Do you want a prompt quickly and outright? Or do you want me to give you some ideas for prompts? And tell me the subject of what you're looking for. I have the first prompt copied and I'm simply going to paste it within ChatGPT just like this. So it says, I want you to become the ultimate prompt generating machine. Here's what ChatGPT says, quite simple. I just want to clarify one thing. You mentioned I should create a prompt that generates prompts, specifically for AI images like Midjourney, Stable Diffusion, and Leonardo AI. Here are the details I'm looking for. And I'll just say something like prompts about photorealistic supercars. And then here we go. Absolutely, here are some prompts that generate ideas for photorealistic supercars. Here are 10 prompts for you to choose from, just like that. So we have everything from number one, generate a photorealistic image of a supercar speeding through a neon lit cityscape at night all the way down to number 10. 3D rendering of a photorealistic supercar in motion. Amazing. And if you don't like these prompts, you can always ask ChatGPT to create 10 more. So just like that, in a matter of seconds, we have 10 prompts about photorealistic supercars. Let's go ahead and go on to prompt number two. Prompt number two, I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste it. Paste this prompt in and you'll see the slight difference in prompt. So here's the prompt I pasted. Yes, I understand. To clarify, you would like me to generate a prompt that can be used to generate specific prompts for AI images. So here's the important thing to keep in mind. Look at the very last sentence ChatGPT says. It says, additionally, you would like me to ask you three questions whether you want a specific prompt or a few prompt ideas. It's going to look a little bit different each time. The first time I used this prompt earlier today, it's the same exact prompt, but this is what ChatGPT gave me right here. It said, yes, I understand. Before I proceed, I need to ask you three questions. Would you like me to generate a specific prompt for you? or come up with a few prompt ideas, okay? When I used it this time, same exact prompt, it asked the question, but it looks a little bit different. So when you use this prompt, you definitely wanna make sure if you're looking to generate a few prompt ideas, you definitely want to say exactly just that. Come up with a few prompt ideas with the keyword butterfly. And I'm gonna paste that, but instead of using butterfly, I'm gonna use something completely different. I'm gonna say, come up with a few prompt ideas with the keyword cheeseburger. Here are a few prompt ideas related to the keyword cheeseburger cheeseburger. Now we have five, okay? Hyperrealistic 8K image, 3D rendering, Unreal Engine 5, a virtual reality experience that allows users to explore a gourmet cheeseburger in high quality resolution 4K environment. Interesting. Capture the essence of a cheeseburger through professional photography and generate a 64K hyper detailed digital painting of a cheeseburger in a surreal setting. With just these two prompts right here, I have five prompts right here. And then from the first one, we have 10. So just within a matter of seconds, we have 15 very good prompts we could use in Leonardo AI. However, we can also use these same prompts in Midjourney or another app like Adobe Firefly. It works just as good, but in this case, I think they work a little bit better in Leonardo AI. I won't go through what all of these prompts look like. What I'm gonna do is just go through a few of these and then I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorites that Leonardo AI made based off of these prompts right here. 
Okay, so wait until you see these images I just made with these exact prompts I showed you guys for Leonardo AI. Here are the prompts I created. So, going back with the same supercars, check out these variations of the supercars it made for me right here. Going back to just the very first one. This was made in Leonardo Diffusion with the preset photography. These were all used with the same exact prompt. So, same exact prompt with the supercar, except for maybe just a few different adjectives for the background, but I just chose a different fine-tuned model or an alchemy preset. Set. So back again, here is another one for the photorealistic image of a supercar. And then we have this one right here. So a different variation of a supercar, copying pasting one out of these 10, going back over to Leonardo AI. And then you could see the photorealistic one I got in Leonardo AI right here. Quite impressive. This was actually made in fine tuned model 3D animation style which is actually one of the new fine-tuned models that Leonardo AI has. Again, we can go back over here and then just look at these. This was also made with a 3D animation style, 3D rendering with one of the new fine-tuned models that Leonardo AI has. And so going over these, you could see how realistic that these really look based on the different fine-tuned models that you want. But then this one over here, I use the absolute reality fine-tuned model, which is also a newer fine-tuned model from Leonardo AI. If I go back over here to my prompts you can see I have five very good prompts that chat GPT made for me based off of the keywords cheeseburger it was as simple as that I just said came up with a few prompt ideas with the keyword cheeseburger and then just like that here are all of the different variations I have so you can see right here all done with different models and presets this was absolute reality version 1.6 and then I come over here this was also reality 1.6 but a different preset so if I open up to expand it you could just look and see how realistic that this cheeseburger looks. I mean, this is pretty cool. So going back and forth, we could see if I go back up to the top, this one looks phenomenal. This one with the cheese splattering and the cheese just dripping with the tomato curving over the double patties phenomenal. This one was made in Dream Shaper Volume 7, which is also a newer fine-tuned model that Leonardo AI has. And then again, this one right here specifically talks about really emphasizing the ingredients, and it does a phenomenal job making all of these. This was also made in Dream Shaper Volume 7. It looks fantastic. Now, depending on the model that you want, you could see that you're going to get different variations animation style, Leonardo Diffusion, etc., you're going to get a whole completely different variation based off the fine-tuned model that you're choosing. So tell me what you guys think. Use these prompts, copy and paste them, and don't forget, when you use these prompts, you're going to get multiple variations over and over and over again. Like, even if I go back over the chat GPT and I go, like, to the first one and say I want 10 more, you can simply just type in, give me 10 more, please, and then just like that, we're gonna go from having 10 prompts to 20 prompts just like that. You could do the same thing with the other prompt over here. It gave us five right away, so you're gonna go from five and you could say, give me 10 more, please, and then just like that, it's gonna give you 10 more cheeseburger prompts. So that's the amazing thing of the combination of ChatGPT and Leonardo AI. Now, I haven't tried these prompts quite yet in Midjourney or Adobe Firefly, but I highly recommend you do that. For now, I've just tried them in Leonardo AI, and I think you'll be happy with this too. So don't forget, link in my description, and use all these prompts exactly how you want. But thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time.